It provoked outrage and angry graffiti. The news a 15-year-old girl at this Quebec City school was asked to strip down so two female staff members could check her clothes for drugs. The girl wasn't allowed to call her mother, who is still reeling. She spoke to us but didn't want to be identified. Même euh, le père meurtrier a le droit à un appel téléphonique. On parle ici d'une mineure, d'une adolescente. Euh, J'espère bien qu'ils ont des droits, eux autres aussi. Là. Quebec's Ça... education minister only added fuel to the fire yesterday by defending the search. Il est permis euh, de faire des fouilles à nu à une seule condition, il faut que ce soit très respectueux. Yves Bolduc told reporters strip searches at schools are permitted as long as they're done respectfully. That prompted an online petition calling for the minister to respectfully step down. The signatures are still pouring in. Today at the provincial legislature, the minister faced a grilling. Tous les parents du Québec sont actuellement troublés par cette situation. Mettez vos culottes, Monsieur le Président. Then, from the minister, an about face. We're worried about this case, Balduc says, as he promised an independent review of the facts and a fresh look at the policy. I, I wouldn't be happy if it was one of my children, that's for sure. I don't care what the law says. It's not the law, but Quebec's provincial guidelines. They cite a 1998 Supreme Court ruling that says schools may act quickly if they're worried about safety. It gives officials more leeway to search students than police have. Some say the guidelines haven't kept up with the changing expectations of privacy. The question we have to ask ourselves is, uh, in what circumstances could you proceed? And I would answer only in the most serious of circumstances. The school board involved says searches like this are extremely rare, but it too will review what happened. The family of the girl, meanwhile, is consulting with a lawyer to look into possible legal action. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Montreal.